today I want us to think, think about one of the most powerful things that we can do in this journey of apprehending uh, an accurate self-image, an accurate identity, uh, who we are hidden in Christ. God wants you and I to be the absolute best version of ourselves, and we are only able to do that when we understand what God says about us. See, my identity is powerful, it's critical, because it affects how I see myself. It affects how you see yourself. Identity is powerful because it affects how I behave myself, how you behave yourself. It's powerful because it, it affects how I reproduce myself. And you and I will reproduce ourselves. But are we reproducing the part of us that is God-driven, is God-ordained, is fulfilling God's purposes? Or are we reproducing something of our flesh, of our selfishness, of our greed, of our addictive behavior? Um, you look at someone who is an alcoholic and nine times out of 10, you can see a parent who is an alcoholic or a grandparent who is an alcoholic. Well, they reproduce themselves, but what do they reproduce? They reproduced uh, a part of a broken identity, uh, a shattered life. God wants you and I to produce the kind of people that um, can delight in the Lord, that can be um, a light in the darkness, that can be a uh, a voice in the wilderness. God wants you and I to reproduce the kind of people that look like Jesus. How's that going to happen? Um, in the text that we're looking at um, over this month, it says, in this world, we are like Jesus. Well, that's the goal. The goal is that we would be like Jesus in this world. But if our identity is wrapped up in things, in possessions, in position on earth, for, instead of my position in Christ, if it's wrapped up in a pleasure instead of the pleasure I get from being his child, then my identity is going to be distorted. Um, it's going to take me off course instead of help me be on course. You, the truth is you and I train every day. We train every day, but a lot of us have negative training. We reinforce the wrong thing. And we've trained ourselves to stay active, to be busy, to um, go to social media for... Um, mitigating our boredom, to go to some addictive behavior, to um, mitigate our pain. And when we do those things, we trained ourselves in the negative way to go to all the wrong things instead of go to him. God wants you and I to learn to go to him. So I hope that today and, and every day this week and and that you will focus on a habit that says, I'm going to begin every day just to go to the source of my true self, the source of my true identity. Because as you do, you will find yourself being made new every day, just like his mercies, having new energy, new passion, new love for the journey ahead of you. You are a child of God. You were chosen by him to reflect his love and grace. And over these next weeks and months, my prayer is that that will abound, that will burgeon with beauty and grace, that you will discover more and more who God has always intended you to be. Lord Jesus, help us on this journey to discipline ourselves for what matters most. In Jesus' name, I will see you tomorrow.